Today I'm going to show you how you can easily load historical weather data for any worldwide location and time period into Microsoft's Power BI for further analysis. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking on the orange button on the right side of the page. Your free trial will give you instant access to historical weather data for any location around the globe. I'll next select the option to manually enter the location for which I want to analyze historical weather data. However, I could instead load in a sheet of addresses or paste in a list of locations as plain text. Instead of manually typing an address, I'll let the system automatically enter my current location by clicking on the Populate from your location link below the entry field. I'll also give the location a friendly name to make this location easy to identify in the output data. Next, I need to tell Visual Crossing Weather what type of weather query I want to run. Since I want to analyze weather reports from the past, I'll choose the Historical Data option. Note that this panel would allow me to choose other options, such as a forecast query, historical summary reports, or hourly data. These and many other options are covered by our other videos and tutorials. Selecting an historical data query will open up the options panel that allows me to define the parameters of the query. The main option that I need to set is the date range. For this example, I'll choose January 1, 2019 as the starting point and December 31, 2019 as the ending point. There are other options in this panel that I could use to adjust the results, but for this example I'll accept the defaults and simply run the query. Initially I'll be shown the weather calendar view as the default. I can also change to the grid view to see more details, or I could download the data as a CSV file by clicking on the download button at the bottom of the page. However, instead I'll switch to the API view and copy the query URL. Now I can use this URL to load the weather query results directly into Power BI for analysis. To demonstrate how to do that, I'll switch to the Power BI interface. I can easily load the historical weather data by going into the Get Data menu and selecting the option to load data from the web. In the URL box, I'll paste the Visual Crossing Weather Query URL and click OK to submit the query. Power BI will then load the weather data into a preview window. You can see that our historical weather query returned many weather metrics including temperature, precipitation, and wind speed. These metrics are reported for every day during the period that we specified earlier. When I click on the Load button, Power BI will process the data and make it available for my weather analysis. To wrap up this demonstration, let's make a graph of the minimum and maximum temperatures across the entire data period, in this case the year 2019. This will show how the temperature ranges change over the course of a year. I'll first drop in a line graph and put the date field on the axis. Then I'll select the minimum and maximum temperature fields and put them into the values. Since temperatures on a graph are best represented by averages, I'll change the aggregate type for each temperature field to be an average. I'll also change the date on the axis to show the data for each month. I now have a simple visual representation of the daily temperature range for each month in the year 2019. As you can see, it follows the expected seasonal temperature pattern for my location in Virginia. Of course, we haven't even scratched the surface of how historical weather data can be used in Power BI. Once you have the data loaded, you can begin to correlate weather with your existing business data and analysis to gain valuable new insights. If you would like to learn more about using visual crossing weather options such as 15-day weather forecasts, loading multiple locations, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching.